Hello and welcome. My name is Akushadi. Today I will present you how to use our FishQuant application. First, you need to open your digital slide in our Quant Center program. In the Quant Center, you can select previously made annotations and you can easily zoom in and zoom out in your digital slide. As you zoom in, you will see clearly um, the nuclei and the signals inside in the nuclei. In the quant center, you can study each channel individually. You can easily switch on and off the channels. Similarly, you can change between extended focus and between Z-Stack view. You can easily step between the layers by moving the slider. You can also set up the brightness, contrast and gamma if needed. The algorithm will run on the modified image. The Quant Center software contains several applications. Select FishQuant for fish quantification purposes. In FishQuant, you can use our automatic fluorescence filter. Your first job is to define the probes. You can do this with our probe editor. Just click to new then select the operation type and the kind. I now selected amplification here. Then you need to uh, define the name of your gene of interest and the name of your control gene. And you can add a name for your probe and you can save it and you can use this probe later for similar digital slides. After adding the probe, you can turn on the preview mask, which shows you a preview image of the measurement. As you can see, some nuclei are not detected. You can modify the minimum nuclei contrast value in order to get a better detection. You can modify the nuclei size value too in order to fine tune the detection. You can also set the minimum spot contrast value individually for each signal channel. Right now, you can see how to modify the minimum spot contrast value for the treat channel. Similarly, you can also modify the minimum spot contrast value for the fit channel in order to achieve a better spot detection.
After correct setup, you can start the measurement process. You can start the measurement on a previously defined area or you can make a whole slide measurement. The whole slide measurement takes approximately 6 minutes. After the measurement is done, the software will open for you automatically the results. You can start our data visualization tool if you wish to analyze your data. Using the button matrix, you can individually visualize each cluster, such as the negative ones and the amplified ones. If you click to the pie chart tab, you can visualize your results in a pie chart. And you can add a secondary probe for detecting chromosomal operations such as monosomy, trisomy or polysomy. After updating the results, on the pie chart now you can visualize the proportion of chromosomal aberrations in relation with normal and amplified clusters. You can filter down your results in the pie chart and you can add a scatter plot. Your scatter plot now contains only the strong amplification cases. In the scatter plot, you can simply select nuclei from the interesting range and you can visualize them. If you think that the software's detection is not OK. You can use our shape editor and simply with your mouse you can draw the borders of the nuclei. After the drawing is finished, with the right click, you can separate the nuclei. If you think that the number of red signals is not correct, you can modify it by clicking to edit fields. You can also add a table to your scatter plot. The table shows only the selected nuclei from the scatter plot and you can easily number them. If you select two nuclei from the gallery, you can easily visualize them in their original position. If 
you click to the tree icon, you can um, follow your data analysis process. We offer our customers a clear and logical data processing workflow. You can select some images and you can add these to your report. If you click to the report tab, you can generate a report. In the report, you can enter the patient data such as the patient's name or the patient's social security number and the software will update the report form with this data. In the report form, you also have a pie chart, a table, and your previously selected pictures. In the end, you can save in PDF format this report. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.